How's things out uh, schools back in? Oh, well, things going great. Uh, getting back to the normal schedule as a student athlete, uh, student first, then football next. So it feels great to be back in school. How does it feel? How is the feeling different for you kind of being the man this year on the line with everybody else? So many guys haven't departed. Now you're the next guy up, the guy that everybody's looking to to really be the leader on that uh, front. Uh, I'm just, just take each day at a time and just lead by example on and off the field to, to some of the players and, and just trying to help them get better. Do you feel like you've been waiting forever for this chance to, to be the main guy? Oh, yes, sir. I've been waiting you know, for two years now, so I'm glad it's finally here. Off the top of your head, uh, in practice the last week or two, uh, who have you seen make like a really good hit on defense? Um, I say Jeffrey Gibson. He 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 bring a hit every day in practice. So. Last year, we we knew that if, if things got tough, Grady Jarrett would be the guy that would step up and say something out on the field, or maybe Vic would. Who's going to be that guy this year? Um. It's a, a, uh, it's a coach up, up to me and uh, front seven, whoever we need to count on at the time. If we, if we need to make a play, I'm going to try to be there and make that play for us for our D-line or uh, count on my teammates to help me out to make the play. Who's going to be the guy that says it before a play, hey, we need to do this right here? Oh, that's me. I say that. Yes, sir. Zach, you could potentially a more complete player than Nick? Oh, uh, yes, sir. I, I mean, I... I mean, man, Vic game is kind of different. He, he more of a pass rusher. I, I could play the run and the pass, and, and, I, and I got uh, extra 20 pounds on him, so I feel like my game is just different from his. Coming off having the number one defense, and again, with all the losses you've had up front, is there any kind of extra burden? Do you feel a little extra pressure on yourself to, to, to perform uh, you know, up to your capabilities? Oh, no, sir, no pressure at all. I mean, we just got to come in every day and just get better as a team. And at the end of the year, we, we, that's what we're trying to look at for that number one spot again. So I'm just, we're just, just trying to get better as a whole defensive group. And we don't got nobody that haven't played in none of them games last year. So I feel like we can uh, repeat again this year. With Walker, Walker coming up, you guys are going to be playing against the triple option offense. You know, something you'll see again later on in Georgia Tech. Different, different mindset, different kind of game prep. You guys have already stepped, started looking at film and preparing for that. Oh, yes, sir. We have to start looking at that. It's just, I mean, everybody got to do their job uh, with a team like that. Everybody got to be on their game, and each person got to do their job. And anybody may have a messed up in the job, it can cause us a big play. So we just, everybody just got to play their game and play technique sound. It's a team like that. The team will come, come in and be more hungry. I heard you say, Cam, that you told Mitch Hyatt, I'm going to make you better. Have, have you been successful? Oh yes, sir. He done got better since the day day one camp star. I mean, he's he, he uh, picked up on a lot of my moves now and and blocking me well. And but we, uh, we, I like to uh, challenge him every day and make him better. I want him to be one of the best linemen in the nation this year as a freshman. Coach Elliott said that that he's, he can win about fifty percent of the matchups. Was that was that fair or is he? Oh yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. A couple plays I get him, and a couple plays he'll he'll come back and get me. So it'd be out almost fifty fifty every day in practice. Looking at this year, this is a year that you can really make your mark in front of NFL scouts. With that said, reach out to Newt or to Jarvis, former Daniel guys who have made that jump. To ask them how they handled it. Oh uh, no, sorry, I haven't. Not. I just just been taking a uh, day at a time. Just uh, right here, right now, just. Focusing on my team and getting better every day. I haven't really had thought about that right now. You talked earlier this summer about trying to get to double digit sacks, but you're also a guy who spends a lot of time in the backfield, like I said, just the run. Do you have a tackles for loss number you'd like to try to hit? 23, 23 tackles for loss. Why that number? I guess because Michael Jordan was my favorite <laughs> all time player. <laughs> <laughs> Does Vic set a benchmark? Because I mean, as far as where you are after your second year, where he was after his second year. Oh yeah, Vic. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't notice when man Vic was that close after our second year and the numbers of sacks we have. But I just Vic um, got the sack record. I'm, I'm trying to work hard and hopefully get to the sack record by the time I leave Clemson. Thank you.
just excuse me, being, being just a freshman is high. It kind of surprised you the way he's come in, and from all accounts, he's really been playing at a high level and a guy that's really being thrown into the fire as a young kid. Oh yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, coming, getting thrown into the fire uh, as a freshman and be able to be able to uh, come in and block high talent uh, defensive linemen. It's great. He picked on well. He picked up on the playbook all fast. So that's kind of great.